uh, today we will discuss about how to retrieve a particular nucleotide sequence from the database for that we will use NCBI NCBI is basically a web resource in which different databases and tools are linked you can see I open it through the Google and you can see different resources that uh, those are linked with the NCBI. NCBI is basically National Center for Biotechnology Information which is linked with different databases and tools and we can retrieve uh, or explore different kind of data and we can do different kind of analysis like BLAST and that is used for the homology analysis. Uh, we can uh, assess all these databases and tools to NCBI. So our purpose is to retrieve a particular nucleotide sequence. Uh, first of all, we will select the database. Uh, there are different databases uh, to retrieve particular information. Uh, for this, we will use nucleotide. As we are interested to retrieve a nucleotide sequence, so we will uh, select the nucleotide uh, database. Uh, in this database, all kind of nucleotide sequences are available in this tool uh, suppose I am interested to uh, learn about the casein and I want to explore the casein sequence so I will write the casein search bar uh, I'm writing a general keyword I will select the word search as you can see I just wrote the word casein and uh, a lot of information came out uh, but we did not specify uh, in which animal uh, in which plant or fungi or protist we want to retrieve this casein sequence uh, on the left side you can say this research output of about the casein uh, uh, the search from animals plant fungi it is summarized here and on this uh, on the, and here th there are a lot of pages open and uh, that mm, can give this nuclear sequence uh, about the casein and suppose our purpose is to retrieve a nuclear sequence of messenger RNA of camel uh, and alpha it, uh, two casein suppose so I will click this one suppose it was my research objective I, I want to explore about this one so I clicked on this one a page open about the Camelus dromedaris messenger RNA for alpha S2 casein and uh, now you can see information about this nuclear sequence of Cam uh, Camelus dromedaris it is a gen bank and basically it is linked with GenBank, GenBank th that is basically primary database and which primary information is available uh, it is the information is presented in the GenBank format uh, locus is there uh, that is a part of format it will be started with our locus it will be followed by different annotation lines and here is the nucleus and before the nucleus origin word is there and our uh, sequence is ended with the double slash okay now we'll try to learn what is this is, is this information actually uh, here a locus that is a part of format uh, a number accession number is there uh, in some sequences uh, the the genbank form may represent or may fill this information with the abbreviation of uh, the species uh, it is 960 base pair messenger RNA linear sequence it was published 1998 uh, definition line is here accession accession is basically a unique permanent number that is given or provided by the GenBank database when we submit the data to the data uh, base or uh, GenBank uh, after processing after authentication of the sequence uh, the uh, this GenBank database will provide uh, information uh, with an accession number so we, uh, the accession number is provided by the GenBank 
you can even retrieve this information by putting in the exception number on the search uh, bar or in Google if you will directly write accession number uh, suppose I'm writing in the Google you can explore retrieve this information directly uh, by putting the accession number you can see through accession number I retrieve this information so it's a unique permanent number given by the database uh, version version actually it's the first version uh, you may add uh, more information about this sequence and uh, so it's the first, first version if uh, if you uh, will add any other information after uh, its online appearance and uh, the second version point two will be appear and so on keywords uh, source is camel dromedaris uh, classification is written there and you can see uh, it's, it's, it's highlighted in a blue, blue color it means uh, you can link with other database through this uh, database also the taxonomy classification will be appeared uh, I'm clicking on it you can say another database about the taxonomy is open uh, reference as uh, research was conducted and after research uh, the sequence was explored though so maybe s that research may, may uh, might be published in some journal also or maybe it can be unpublished so it's about uh, uh, that uh, information and the authors are there title is there uh, the title uh, of that uh, particular uh, mm, sequence this particular sequence is about a sequence analysis of chemical stromatized milk casein it was published in journal of dairy science uh, uh, this article can also be directly assessed through the PubMed ID. As you can see, okay, and uh, uh, th th this is all information about the publication of this this sequence. Uh, different features are written here. Um, is it's about uh, one two nine sixty seven base pair of was camel molecular type molecular type was messenger RNA subspecies was so meliprid database uh, taxon reference is written there you can even directly assess the taxon classification from also here tissue type was lactating memory gland uh, coding sequence CTS uh, the, the, the this is a very interesting information if you want to know about the coding sequence of this sequ uh, this particular uh, sequence, uh, you can assess from here. CDS uh, of this sequence are from 61 to 642 base pair. If I will click on the word CDS, uh, it will be highlighted on the sequence, uh, and here a small window will also appear that will give a short summary of this information. Also, uh, okay, and uh, if you will focus. Uh, uh, it is started from 61 base pair to 66 40 to base pair uh, and product is casein protein ID is also there as I uh, already told you different databases uh, al will also be linked or may also be linked uh, with this particular sequence so that you may directly open that, that database through uh, these links means about protein ID uh, other database about interpro or uniprot kb that is another database for the protein uh, you can assess through these ids of uh, those particular databases uh, the cds translation is also there that is another interesting additional information given by the gen bank here uh, sig peptide region is from 61 to 105 met peptide region is 106 to 639 uh, again if you will click on these regions the, those regions will be highlighted. Uh, I will. I clicked on a sick peptide. Th that region is highlighted. If I want to know about the regulatory region of this sequence, I will click on the or regulatory. That region is highlighted. That is from 944 to 949 base pair. So uh, this is a short summary of the sequence given in the German format. Uh, if we will explore the genome, obviously information can vary and can be different and can be more huge 
you can say more annotation lines can be there. Uh, another interesting feature is that you can even if you want to take the faster format directly, you can well, you can click here faster, and uh, the the that sequence will appear in the form of faster also. Uh, it is started with the greater than symbol, small description line, single line description, obviously, and on the next line there is sequence. So it's about uh, how we retrieve a nucleotide sequence with the database. Uh, I selected the database, then I wrote the search uh, keywords uh, about that, that gene or sequence, and I would click on search and sequence appear here. Thank you very much.